Today, I am going to make a DIY prototype of the Magmov magnet motor. The configuration on the rotor of this magnet motor is in the shape of a pointed oval with all the neodymium permanent magnets facing north upwards. Stay tuned to see the results. This self-running permanent magnet motor is for sale on the internet. One could purchase the basic 3000 watt self-running generator starting at 4000 euros and up. An animation on the internet by the inventor shows a rotor with a magnetic configuration and two stepper motors with actuator magnets. Supposedly, this configuration generates enough torque to turn three car alternators to produce enough power to power your house and recharge its own battery. I am using a six and a half inch PVC pipe for the rotor. The permanent magnets will be laid out on a double V configuration. Firstly, I have to drill out pilot holes. With a half an inch drill bit, I have to drill out 56 holes. The 56 permanent magnets I will be using for this project are half an inch by an inch. They are N52 with a pull force of 56 pounds. I installed all the magnets and they are a very tight fit. It took a couple of hours to put all of the magnets in the rotor. I made some caps for the rotor out of high density polyethylene. Also, I am using a half an inch shaft, collars and bearings. I made a support that will hold the rotor in place. Now it's time to assemble all the pieces of the motor together. All of the permanent magnets are north polarity facing upwards. I am using two one inch magnets as an actuator magnet. First, we will test the motor in a traction configuration. The neodymium permanent magnets are very powerful and they can be used to affect the rotor from a distance. Now, I will test the motor in repulsion configuration. In repulsive configuration, it is more difficult to get the timing perfect because the actuator magnet has to always be behind the rows of permanent magnets. I made a guide out of half an inch acrylic to guide the actuator magnets in a straight line in proper distance from the rotor magnets. The ideal idea would be to use a linear shaft and bearings and a stepper motor to reduce friction. This test shows that in attraction mode, the array of permanent magnets on the rotor follow the single actuator magnet on the stator. This shows that they are magnetically coupled. In repulsion, this test shows that the permanent magnets on the rotor and stator are not coupled together magnetically. In order for this to work, the magnets towards the end on both sides need to be removed so the actuator magnet can always follow behind the rows of permanent magnets. Another test shows that when a rotor and stator are in attraction mode, by rotating the rotor, the actuator magnet follows the rotor instead. A comment on the original inventor's video points out some crucial concepts. The comment states this, to achieve the claimed 3000 watt output, 370 amp alternators must run at a minimum of 1500 RPM. With the 6 to 1 gear ratio, the magnetic drum must rotate at least 250 RPM, 4.17 rotations per second. This requires the stepper motor to complete four full passes per second, covering 2,032 millimeters per second, 
four times its maximum speed. Also, while reversing the stepper motor is not impractical, it does affect acceleration and limits achievable speed. The design also fails to account for torque and complex vector forces. While the concept has potential, the implementation is fundamentally flawed. If any of you guys have more information about this motor or the website on which these motors are being sold, please leave comments below and share your opinion. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far into the video, please subscribe to the channel as it helps support me make new videos just like this one.